Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss a general overview as well as my thoughts on the new Traxxas XRT8S. This is a huge truggy on the 8S platform, which should directly compete with the Arma Creighton 8S. It will be available for pre-order in early November, which is actually very soon. So let's get right into it. And first, we are going to talk about the specs of this beast. Okay, so the Traxxas XRT will be 8S LiPo capable and will feature truggy, truggy styling and dimensions. It is more geared towards racing and handling, uh, while the X-Max will remain focused on that monster truck feel, you know, big tires, big ground clearance. Uh, it will use the same 8S capable power system as the X-Max, and Traxxas says that it will reach speeds up to 60 miles per hour on 8S LiPos which is a step up from the X-Max's 50 miles per hour. Um, and 60 miles per hour for that size truck is very impressive, guys. Um, it also features a low center of gravity chassis, chassis and new Gravix race tires uh, to go along with that racing ethos. As you can see from the chassis picture here, it will have a similar layout to the X-Max with the electronics going down the center and the batteries sitting on either side. Something important to note here is that the XRT has a plastic chassis similar to the X-Max, unlike the new Traxxas Sledge though, um, which is similar styling to the XRT, but the Sledge has a metal chassis. Um, a pro some pros of the plastic chassis are that it can flex more uh, but it is still susceptible to breaking, whereas a metal chassis does not flex, uh, but it can bend when it's pushed too far. Uh, the XRT also features metal drive shafts, metal differentials, and metal shocks, and it has the same body clipless system that we are familiar with from Traxxas. Okay, so with the specs out of the way, I'm going to give you guys my opinion. I absolutely love my X-Max. And this XRT seems like a pretty similar vehicle. It is about the same length as the X-Max, about 31 inches long, while being a little bit wider at about 23 inches wide. Um, it should be a great truck to drive around the track, especially with that added width and the lower center of gravity chassis. Um, and given the X-Max's track record, this should be extremely durable. Um, but if I had to choose between the two, I would still personally pick the X-Max. I think that the thrill of driving such a huge monster truck just has the edge for me. Um, but however, if you are looking for a truck that is 8S capable to drive around the track, that's low, that's got great handling, um, that's great durability, you know, you could beat it into the ground, then in my opinion, you should look no further than the Traxxas XRT 8S. But for now, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so I would really appreciate it. Uh, also, I have the new Traxxas TRX4M on the way, um, so please be sure to stay tuned for that. I'm going to have a ton of cool videos, you know, unboxing, review, uh, crawling, all that stuff. Um, also, comment below. If you have any questions for me about the XRT or anything else, um, I respond to every single comment, and I see every comment. Um, so yeah, please give me all your thoughts down below, but again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.